Are you struggling to pack on lean muscle mass with calisthenics and bodyweight training? Well, stay tuned my friend because in today's video we're going to address that right now by just getting right into it. Crew members, welcome back to the channel friends. How are you doing today? It's always good to see you here once more. If this is your first time here on this channel though, you need to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications because if you're new to body training and calisthenics, this is your home body and straight training. So make sure you hit that button and turn on that bell, my friend. Right, so as a former skinny guy myself, of course I get a lot of DMs and emails. They ask, you know, Jay, how, how can I pack on muscle, you know? What's the best chest workout? Where do I get my creatine from? Where do I get my protein powder from? Should I be training two or three times a day? Now. Nah. This is exactly the problem that I found for myself. The problem with this is that you're focusing on methods rather than principles. And if you're an OG on this channel, you'll know that once you apply the principles, application is far more easier because although methods change from year to year, principles will always remain the same and is exactly what will determine whether you get results or not within your fitness journey. So of course the three main areas with fitness and calisthenics is of course your training, your nutrition and then rest. In this video I'm going to cover each main principle of these three areas so that you can focus on what truly matters. So start with number one, training. The principle when it comes to training, working out, building strength and muscle is progressive overload. Now, you can do as many chest workouts, ab workouts, drink as many protein shakes as you like, but if you're not applying progressive overload in your training, there will be no reason for your muscles to regrow bigger and stronger on a weekly basis. So simply put, progressive overload is the gradual increase in stress we place upon our muscles so that when we force greater adaptations upon our body during our workouts, they are forced to adapt by regrowing bigger and stronger during rest so that the next workout, they can tolerate more than they did before. In order for our muscles to grow, so does the resistance placed upon them. This is where progressive overload comes into play. And if you're you know, still struggling to understand progressive overload a bit, I have a full video and guide on this YouTube channel right my friend. So I'll link it right up here so that you can check it out. P.S. Please don't laugh my hair in the video, right? It's, a, it's atrocious, right? I don't know what I was doing, but those are old days, right? I've moved on. So to summarize this concept of training progressive overload, Overload, instead of asking yourself, you know, what's the best chest workout for muscle growth, or how many ab workouts do I need to do a week, or how many protein shakes do I need to drink a day? Instead, you've got to ask yourself, will these methods contribute to progressive overload consistently? If yes, then it may be worth experimenting with. If not, it may be worth chucking away. And talking of protein shakes a few minutes ago, let's move on to nutrition. Of course, with nutrition, the main concept and principle of nutrition is calories and nutrients. So calories is really what we consume from our foods and then we later expend this as energy throughout our day-to-day -day activities as well as our workouts. So in short, these kind of comes to a net balance. So with that said, if you are consuming less calories than you burn in a day on a weekly basis, you're going to find that you're going to be in a calorie deficit. So as a result, you will lose weight. If you consume more calories than you're burning on a daily and weekly basis, you're gonna end up gaining weight, which is also known as a calorie surplus. But if you are consuming the same amount of calories than you are burning, your weight is then going to stay relatively the same. Now, if your main objective is to gain weight, of course, I'm not suggesting you go to the nearest fast food restaurant right now and you know, eat the whole place down. <laughs> because I'll get more into that later on. But right now, I want you to do a task and download some form of app that allows you to track your food. A prime example here being MyFitnessPal. And these types of apps will then take in your stats, your height, your weight, your age, your activity level, so that it gives you a good base of calories and macronutrients to work off. And then you're going to measure what you eat on a daily basis. Because from here, you're gonna be able to manage what you're measuring. Because here, you're going to see what you're doing well in, what calories and macronutrients that you know is pretty good in your nutrition plan, and also you're going to see what macro or maybe even micronutrients that you're lacking. So the fix is to keep on doing what's working and then fix the issue. Please don't try and chase quick fixes like extra protein powder or more supplements 
rather than actually addressing the root cause, which in most cases is going to be inadequate calories, inadequate protein, and inadequate micronutrients. If you fix and maintain all three of these, there's no doubt your body is going to be growing over time. And again, I could talk about nutrition all day long, but luckily for you, I have a video on this YouTube channel which covers pretty much everything you need to know about nutrition in a nutshell in just a space of 10 minutes. So I'll leave that for you in the card right here so you can check that out so that again you can further understand the principles so that you can then apply them from there much easier all right so the third principle we're going to cover is as i've said rest and here we're going to talk mostly about recovery so if you've read my free ebook right now you'll know i like to talk about a little story of when i first began my fitness journey so when i was about 16 work at home with a bench and a pair of dumbbells i thought or i had this mentality of you know the more i do the more i work out and the longer i work out surely that would mean that my muscles would grow bigger and stronger as a result. So as you can imagine, I would, you know, blast my biceps, blast my chest for hours and end on a weekly basis. I was blasting the damn life out of my abdominal muscles. And then eventually I actually hit this plateau where I actually experienced a decline in performance. And the answer was simple. I was failing to recover properly because the irony is, is that our muscles are stimulated from our workouts and are then actually regrown during rest. So if you fail to recover properly, your muscle cells are going to fail to actually grow bigger and stronger based on the stimulus placed in them in the workout itself. So here, I'm really saying that more is not always better. You've got to focus on you know one or two primary goals and base your training based on achieving those goals. Because if you try and do too many things at once or try and doing too much too soon, you're not going to make the progress you desire. So the, the formula I want you to remember from this video and cherish is that progressive overload plus quality nutrition plus adequate recovery equals gains. You cannot have the whole sum without taking one of the three away. So the take home message here is to stop chasing methods for hours on end and start actually leveraging the principles and actually using your methods that you use based on the core principles of you know, fitness. And then once you apply them consistently, there's no doubt you're actually going to finally gain results, my friends. So with that said, if you enjoyed this video, you like my content, you enjoy watching every single minute, every single second of this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below that this video can be good to hand you. And so as that's enough for me today, I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day, my friend. And as a crew member of the Gainsborough Express, keep moving forward, my friend.